So we pretty much just done arcade and karaoke today. Um, and I just realized I never started the vlog. But today we are doing sumo, so we just arrived at the station. I don't know what the station is called, but you can compare hand sizes and heights to the actual sumo wrestlers. And we're getting ready to go out and uh, and see them. I think we might grab some food first. I think that's yeah. what's happening. But it's a really dreary day. It's raining and is uh, not very beautiful. But we're gonna be inside, so it'll be fine. Before you consume, you must consume. I tried. Uh, ramen and ramen, which are both really good looking. I'm a little jealous of. See, we got curry. I did. That looks, that. That looks really good. Thanks. Real good. And then I went off the uh, mark a little bit, and I got udon, and this is like supposedly scrambled eggs and chicken. I don't know. And rice. Oh, and rice. There's rice under there too. I'm excited. They're all things I enjoy.
right wing.
Sumo was fun. Um, it was really interesting to see it in person, and I already thought that it was pretty exciting on television, but it was far more exciting in person. And also, it, it, it sounds kind of bad, I think, as an American, but it was far more entertaining and interesting than American sports. I mean, it was really... Like, I agree. I mean, it's, I mean, I don't watch American wrestling, but I, this was way cooler. Yeah, well, well, wrestling is a little different. Actually, I like wrestling. I actually do. I like the drama of it. Um, because wrestling is it's very dramatic. Um, sumo is mu much more visceral. I, I don't know. It's it's very um, almost primitive in, in its nature. It's just like, I mean, it's two grown men grabbing each other's underwear. But, like, it's it's fun. It's very entertaining. And um, there's a lot of buildup. And I know with the clips I just showed, like, there's parts where... Like, like the sumo wrestlers, they come up to each other and they're they're getting ready, and you think they're gonna go, and then all of a sudden they like they take a break, you know. It's it, and they're taunting each other. It's just really, it's really bizarre, and it's very different from anything that I've seen in the states. And it was cool. It was just really, really interesting. Anyway, um, after that, uh, we went back to that same not conveyor belt sushi, rail sushi place that we went. Um, grabbed a little dinner there and then now we're back and um, I'm actually I'm going through my footage uh, right now that we we shot whenever we were uh, at uh, Etoy's offices the other day um, just because I wanted to give all that footage to Jeff because Jeff is working um, on the Earthbound documentary and I didn't know if there was anything that he could use uh, and uh, you can see <laughs> the frame rate at which 
4K footage runs on this 2009 MacBook Pro. It is choppy and garbage. It is not not so good. Um, I don't I don't know, but it seems it seems possible we might be getting a new laptop this year. There's been quite a few times where I have legitimately needed a laptop, and like I can keep getting by with this one, but like it's becoming more and more just for dumping footage because I can't edit with the new vlog camera. I can't record HD video for like games, like when we go to Chefcon and stuff, I can only record SD with this computer, so it seems likely that we might be getting a MacBook in the in the future, because this one is seven years old and it's starting to show its age. It's been fun. Tomorrow we actually go back home, uh, and it's, it's not until tomorrow night, and like there's still kind of another day in Japan. Um, but this is the last night that we're sleeping at the hotel. Uh, it's been fun. And honestly, in the first few days, I don't know how you felt, Mal, but like in the first few days, it felt like we had been here for weeks. Mm -hmm. Like, did it you still feel... feels like we've been here for a while. Yeah, it feels like right now it feels like I've been in Japan for like a month. It's crazy. Like, that's how long each day has felt. But the, the end of the trip has really snuck up on me at the same time. Like, it's like, oh, wow, it's time to go back. Um, that said, I think, I think the amount of time that we've been here was a good amount of time. Like, I, th I think just, you know, six, seven days, good amount of time to, to see and experience Tokyo and some of the surrounding things. Um, I had a lot of fun, and uh, Tokyo is, Tokyo slash Japan is definitely a place that I would like to come back. I agree. I, I think, would love um, to see Osaka and Kyoto and Okinawa and Hokkaido. Yeah. I, Travel around the whole country. Yeah, it's, it's a very friendly place mm -hmm. it's very inviting and, and like even not speaking or understanding the language it was not difficult to navigate or to communicate with people um and everyone it people don't get frustrated at you being a foreigner like like even if you you're having a hard time understanding someone or or communicating with somebody at least they don't show it yeah yeah <laughs> like, everyone's very nice, nice. About it. <laughs> everyone is very very nice and it's it's a nice environment Anyway, thanks for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?